what's up guys Naresh here welcoming you back into another video and in today's video we are looking into Hauntier Q5 robot vacuum cleaner which is equipped with the features like application smart control automatic recharging selection smart cleaning in a zigzag pattern and also have a voice assistant control too come with the two-in-one vacuum plus a mop feature with the strong suction of 2000 pascal and the electronic water tank of 350 milliliter with the 600 milliliter of dust tank with the HEPA filter as well. Where you are getting a battery of 2500 milliampere hour will give you about 100 minutes of cleaning time which can easily clean 100 meter square of area within the features there are plenty more things to look into like a suction power it's around 2000 pascal smart navigation control for mopping and planning your route e-tank system so you can select how much flow of the water you wanted to have to mop up the floor ultra thin design with the 2.9 inch easy access under the furniture design smart app control combined with the remote control as well are a couple of bonus features which i like to mention starting with the nose where to resume which means that when the battery life go to about 20 percent robot will automatically go for the charge but it will resume the cleaning the place it left from now using the app and the remote controls you have a selection between the cleaning modes like auto cleaning spot cleaning edge cleaning room cleaning or in the mop system mop creating history of viewing and cleaning process check too now first to start with we're going to check out what come with this robot vacuum cleaner following with the configuration and the demonstration which will give you an idea that is that robot for you or not so let's not waste too much of time and straight away jump into the unboxing with this q5 robot vacuum cleaner you are getting one warranty card a gift card a multi-language supporting quick startup guide explaining each and everything you should know about this vacuum cleaner a very quick guide to install the application and how to set it up as well one 300 milliliter water tank with mop fitted on top which is easy to remove as well simple velcro fitting and there is a detailed information that how to clean this tank as well two AAA batteries for infrared remote control which we will look into in detail while performing the vacuum demonstration one vacuum cleaner charging cradle with the power adapter which goes on the right hand side of a charging cradle simple as that one centerpiece brush for your vacuum cleaner one spare mop one vacuum maintenance brush a HEPA filter and four side to side brushes four off side to side brushes which will be installed on your vacuum cleaner one magnetic limiter pad and in last but not least Hone Trio Q5 automatic vacuum cleaner where on the top of it you have got a LCD display display you the time and the status of your vacuum cleaner as well where right on the top you have a home button to send the vacuum cleaner to the charging station and the power on and off button well this is very much obvious which i don't need to explain at all that the vacuum cleaner is covered throughout the sensor on every side of it now under the base of vacuum cleaner you also have multiple sensors available it is pre-installed with the one spare rotary blades to collect all the dust with the suction area vacuum cleaner is pre-installed with the dust container which can be taken off very easily by pushing this lever down and pulling it out simple is that you have got an opening on the top of it just by simply opening it up here is another spare HEPA filter and other filters available down under this is a compartment where all the dust will be collected and once full you automatically get to see the message too now to install the rotary blades on your vacuum cleaner you have to look for the sign on them as well they have got a designated left or right mention like the one which needs to go where it's supposed to and once located in there push it downwards you're going to hear a click sound on it one last time to power up the vacuum cleaner and configure it with our mobile phone now configuring this vacuum cleaner with your mobile phone application is easy and straightforward an application for that is available for android as well as for ios users so we are on android mobile phone so first thing we gotta do is install an application 
which is available on Google Play Store and is called and is called Honey Smart. You need to install this application to start with if you don't have it already. Once the application is installed, open it up straight away from there. Now, if you do not have account with the Honey Smart application, you have to create one by clicking onto the register button and type in a very simple and straightforward detail. Try not to give them your date of birth or any security numbers. Once you created account with the application and logged in with the credentials, you will be on this screen where you need to add your device, which is to do with your vacuum cleaner. Now, power it up first time. Welcome to use robot vacuum cleaner. Once it's powered up, click onto the add device and select your vacuum cleaner. We got a Q5. Select the and you have to remember that on your vacuum cleaner you have got a Wi-Fi which supports only 2.4 gigahertz. So if you have a 2.4 gigahertz available, use that network. Type in the credential for your network, then click next. Now follow all the instructions available on the application by resetting your vacuum cleaner to start with by press and hold on home button for three seconds. You're going to see the Wi-Fi sign available on your vacuum cleaner LCD display. Once you see that, go next button. Once your vacuum cleaner is successfully connected with your Wi-Fi, you're also going to see it available on your application and audible notification too. Now here, you got to change the name if you want to. I would call it a cleaner or the name of a person you hate the most. Now let's have a quick look within the application. Now on the home screen of your vacuum cleaner, you're going to see the battery status life and a navigational key which you have on your remote control. Down below, you're going to see the action of cleaning or the mapping as well. Robot will automatically map it that how it's going to do it all for you guys. Simple as that. Then down below, you got extra small options like a spot cleaning, positioning robot, cleaning record, more cleaning, auto cleaning, recharging mode, room cleaning, edge cleaning, spot cleaning, positioning robot, inside more, you're going to see the option for the quiet mode or change the language if you want to. Pretty much straightforward application to start with guys, straightforward is that. Now by pressing the play button, you can actually start the process of cleaning if you want to. Well now it is the time for the demonstration where first we're going to check the operation of a vacuum cleaner following with the mop. We'll be also doing all the things with the remote control as well as a mobile phone app too. So let me go ahead and dirty up a room and let the vacuum cleaner do its job. Here you can see how dirty I left the floor and I want the vacuum cleaner to do this all job before I can do the mop up of floor. And by using the application, you can start the cleaning process. That's not a problem at all. And you can also select the intensity of vacuum as well, right down in here. Now, by simply pressing on to the room clean button with just one click of a button, vacuum will start and will start with the strong vacuum, whatever is selected.
well so far vacuum cleaner has not done a bad job at all obviously there are a few little little crumbs are left here and there but that's not a problem at all now by using the remote control you can actually tell your vacuum cleaner where to clean actually that's how easy and straightforward it is let me show you all about that by using these navigational keys there you go. and the same remote control feature is also available on your application too and also if you think there is a spot which is not really cleaned at all what you can do is first navigate your vacuum cleaner there and click on to the spot cleaning button let me give you an example of that by using the application click on to the spot cleaning button here And once you think your spot is clean, click onto the spots button. On vacuum cleaner, we also have an option of edge cleaning. Let me demonstrate you that as well. And then by going into your application, click onto the edge clean. Now all mode of operation and features which we were running on our vacuum cleaner can also be run using the remote control as well. To do auto clean click onto the stop button here, mopping this button and other extra features like edge clean or spot cleaning. Navigational is right in front of you so as the setting of the schedules as well. Now when a vacuum cleaner battery goes down under 20% it will automatically go for the home position of charging. But you can send it to home by just simply click for one button by pressing the home button right in here. Back to charge. Now it will be dancing here and there and eventually we'll find the charging station. Charging. So here is a state of floor once it's all cleaned by the vacuum cleaner. Doesn't look that bad at all. Obviously there are few few little little crumbs, very tiny ones, which are missed by the vacuum cleaner is because the way vacuum cleaner had a map of the room is not really right with it. But that's not a problem at all. You can clear up the map and it ask him to do it all again for you. Now taking the dustbin off your vacuum cleaner is easy and straightforward by just simply pushing it down in here and pulling it out. Now to empty it, what you gotta do is simply pull this side downwards. Simple as that. Now in here you can see how much dirt has been collected. Quite sufficient amount to be honest with you. Time to go ahead and check out the mopping.
which is very easy and straightforward. You just need to simply fill up this tank up to 300 milliliters of water. Within this e-tank, you also have a pump available as well, which will control the intensity of water in there. Here is the area where you need to put your water in. You can put a little bit of chemicals as well, you know, like liquid solvable. I have filled up the tank a little bit, about 250 ml, about, and uh, just simply install it in there. Now, as I have mentioned before, that vacuum cleaner knows that when a mopping tank is connected with it. Now, as soon as you click onto this power button, which will initiate the mopping sequence, mopping mode can work from your mobile phone application or from your remote control as well. And by using the mobile phone application, you can actually set the intensity that how much water you would like to use. You got a three level of uh, settings in here energy saving standard and strong for the mopping i would highly recommend to go for the energy saving to be honest with you it works pretty good now by click onto the play button mode. you're going to start the mapping mode mopping mode actually process of mopping and vacuum cleaner coming to the charging station is completely done and here you can see the state of the floor now I don't know the camera is capturing it or not but I can see the floor a little bit wet so try not to walk around it obviously this much of wetness will go away by a couple of uh, minutes I suppose and the floor seems to be looking pretty pretty good and clean after being vacuumed and mopped up from the eye of a man i don't know about the woman being honest with you but i'm sure you guys will be the judge of it by looking into the video quality so here we are in the end of this video and i try to show each and everything possibly i could in a video for this hontryu q5 vacuum cleaner everything seems to be where it should be to be honest with you and this is my first vacuum cleaner video on my channel and honestly speaking i was pretty happy with the performance it came out of it floor was uh, mopped up and cleaned very nicely with the vacuum i didn't need to do much around it control of q5 using the mobile phone application was a very much user friendly and straightforward to work with and working with the infrared remote control was just a doll to be honest with you like driving an rc car i personally could not find a way to configure the q5 with my home assistant applications well that might be the future and at time to time i noticed that when i give a home command to the vacuum cleaner it was wondering quite a lot for and at time to time i noticed that when i give a home command to the vacuum cleaner it was wondering for a couple of uh, minutes actually to find the charging station but that is getting used to to my ambient actually my room size and everything and maybe in future manufacturer will update the application too actually for the mapping if you'd like to delete this whole map and let the vacuum cleaner create a new map for you if that is possible that would be awesome now overall performance of vacuum cleaner i'm pretty much happy with it we'll be using it on day-to-day -day basis to clean up the floor of my living room and I'm mopping it up as well and honestly speaking on a vacuum cleaner side it got 2000 pascal of vacuum it's not hugely loud at all if it's compared with the conventional vacuum cleaners now that would be completely all guys thank you again for watching this video if you're thinking of purchasing this vacuum cleaner for your loved one as a gift or a present link for that is available in the video description and from my side it is honestly speaking highly recommended now that would be completely all guys thank you again for watching this video shall see you soon into another one bye for now